My name is George Njuguna. And my name is Maureen Maturi. Good. Thank you so much for keeping us company and for joining us this morning. And remember, if you'd like to get in touch with us, you can get in touch with us on our social media handles. That is Bloom Radio KE on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Or better yet, you can get in touch with us on our WhatsApp number. That is plus 254-753-903-373. Plus 254-753-903. 903-373. There is a name you've put in brackets. It's called favor. Why have you put it in brackets? <laughs> Explain to us in the most simplest way if you can. The simplest way is that my my official names on my ID is Maureen Muturi. Mm-hmm. However, in 2019, mm-hmm. Uh, God specifically gave me the name Favor. Okay. And it came from a season where I was, I tell people in 2018, my hope and faith were on ICU. Mm -hmm. I literally depended on the prayers of people. Mm -hmm. And then one lady told me that the Lord shall change your name. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see it, but in the beginning of 2019, I would realize that the place I would be in, there would be favor. Mm -hmm. And I'd say yes, I'm just I'm just favored of the Lord. Mm. But then later God was to reveal mm. you're not favored of the Lord, you mm. are favor. Mm. And that's why others are receiving favor mm. in your midst. Yeah. And I took it up, which was very scary at first. Mm-hmm. Because first of all, people asked, So where did you get the name Favor? And we know you as Maureen. Yeah. Until finally I I saw in Genesis 17, mm-hmm. actually in just the, the Bible, when God intended to move, he would change someone's name because then you would be moving in a different dimension. Yeah. Abram, Abraham, mm-hmm. Sarah, Sarai, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. And to just confirm and reaffirm me, mm-hmm. God sent me to Genesis 17 and told me, yeah, now I've changed your name. Mm-hmm. So now I operate in favor and I like to say that my name precedes me wherever I go. Wow, that's fantastic. So let's talk about your low moments, those low moments. When was this? After you gave your life to Christ? Yes, mm-hmm. I gave my life to Christ in 2011. Mm-hmm. Now, f- now I've remembered the year. <laughs> <laughs> in 2011, mm-hmm. or rather 2010, mm-hmm. and then 2012... I started experiencing pain that was untold, that is was inexplicable. Mm-hmm. Before then, I used to have dislocations of my right knee. Mm-hmm. Like the knee would just dislocate on its own and then come back on its own. What? Yeah. And the kind of pain that someone experiences from a dislocation, mm-hmm. English words do not cannot adequately express it Mm -hmm. and then you even get tears after it has come back because Mm -hmm. i mean the pain is excruciating and that means one month you've lost one month because i will not be able to walk on that knee Mm -hmm. and so it had dislocated three times now Mm -hmm. and in 20 just on its own yeah when walking the first time I was climbing a double decker, if you oh. can believe it. Okay. <laughs> it was very simple. Climbing a double decker mm. and then out and in. Yeah. Then the second time was in 209. I was lifting a heavy bag. Mm-hmm. So I think the weight of the bag made it pop out. Mm-hmm. That was 209. 2010, I slipped and missed a stair. Mm-hmm. So I dislocated and then I fell mm. on that on that knee. Mm. That was special. So I was done a surgery in 2010. Mm-hmm. I was told my knee would never dislocate again. Yeah. We were content. Then 2012, that was the most mysterious. I was literally walking. Mm. That was, I didn't sprain. I didn't, one minute I was walking, the next I was down, down with mm-hmm. excruciating pain. So when we went back, the doctor said, now there's something wrong not like the first time mm. so let's go back to theater <sighs> meaning you were in theater before yeah in 2010 okay 
but this one we're told would take 30 minutes two hours i was still inside and you should ask my my mother because she's done was waiting for me <laughs> what was going through her mind <laughs> when 30 minutes an hour an hour 30 minutes two hours you look like there's a story they want to come tell me yes. it is not news that i want to hear yes did did something go wrong mm-hmm. in theater yeah but after that after that surgery uh after two weeks or so i started having pain i want you to imagine having hot like cold water on mm-hmm. your hands mm-hmm. and then you touch an electric switch you know that that shock that shocks you immediately yeah that one that's what i was experiencing in my it said i did my toe mm-hmm. of the right then it just climbed knee i mean ankle knee hip of the right leg mm-hmm. stayed like that shifted to the left leg after a month came to my hands mm-hmm. i was writing notes and then the bio just dropped because mm-hmm. it came on the the thumb mm-hmm. and i couldn't write notes until i i let the shock end mm. and then that was a tuesday on wednesday i felt it from my neck coming up to it settled at the Tip. center mm. of my head and let's just say from there i've never been the same again mm. so what was this now no doctor could tell me because the rationale of mm. one doctor was you cannot get pain from down coming up mm. you get pain from, from up, up going, going down. down so he was trying to say it can't happen mm. but in my mind i'm like you're saying it can't happen and i'm telling you that's what's happening to me right now mm. so they didn't he didn't help us we saw so many doctors in kenya about 10 doctors mm. between january of 2012 and july mm-hmm. 10 kenyan doctors different specialties orthopedic surgeon neurologist endocrinologist who deals with hormones uh-huh. i saw all of them and none of them was tell, would tell me what's wrong with me uh-huh. several admissions pain control I, I, I go back home i'm not yet still okay uh-huh. so in july uh-huh. my parents decided we go to india uh-huh. and in india we arrived on a monday consultations with about seven doctors Mm -hmm. because now my system was messed up it Mm -hmm. was not just the pain i was experiencing yeah so i needed to see a lot of doctors Mm -hmm. then they sent me for tests then on wednesday i had a diagnosis Mm -hmm. fibromyalgia okay so i don't want to (laughs) think it's what i'm thinking about yes it's not (laughs) i I know what you're thinking and it is not Tell us what that disease is, is about or what was diagnosed you that you had. Okay, so fibromyalgia mm-hmm. is a chronic pain condition. Mm-hmm. It affects fibrous tissues, mm-hmm. hence fibro. Mm-hmm. Then the myalgia It is, affects fibrous tissues. Yes. Okay. And then muscles, mm-hmm. that's the my. Okay. And then myalgia just means pain. So the pain, the chronic pain of the fibrous tissue okay. and muscles. Mm-hmm. And what that means is it's a problem that it's a pain sensitization problem such that mm-hmm. a normal person would have would feel pain mm-hmm. on a scale of one to ten you'd feel pain from like five or six mm-hmm. for fibromyalgia patients you will feel pain at a two mm-hmm. So all the stimuli that we have, and that is heat, cold, pressure, Mm -hmm. we feel more than a healthy person who doesn't have Mm -hmm. the the condition. Mm -hmm. It comes with so many symptoms. We have the pain, obviously, but it's widespread pain. It's Mm -hmm. not one one place. Mm -hmm. So it's widespread pain, fatigue, and fatigue is not just tiredness, people. Uh, someone coined fi- fatigue is when my tired is tired mm. <laughs> and mood cognitive issues are affected so it depends every from one person to another mm-hmm. for me the most affected were my legs mm-hmm. i got very serious migraines mm-hmm. and the worst part about chronic conditions is they don't come alone mm. they just tug at other chronic conditions mm. along the way mm. 
So along the way, I was diagnosed with chronic migraines. Mm-hmm. 2016, 2017, endometriosis. Mm-hmm. 2018 was the time migraines were at an all-time high. Mm. I barely made it out with my mind intact. Mm. So 2019, I was diagnosed with a different condition that has a longer name mm-hmm. than fibromyalgia. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it's hypermobility, and then we'll just shorten to EDS. Okay. And that, that would explain, that explained the dislocations. Okay. So hypermobility means that our joints hyperextend okay. more than a normal person. Mm. So that's why the, the knee was just playing around and coming out on its own mm. because of the hypermobility. Mm. And all this was in India? No. Uh. <laughs> India, we spent two weeks. Oh. Okay, two or three weeks. Okay. So it was just a diagnosis. I was given medication. I was I went on um, rehabilitation mm-hmm. of the my knees, my muscles, my joints. Mm-hmm. Then we came back to Kenya. Okay. Uh, and then that was 2012. I had a good run till mm-hmm. the end of the year mm-hmm. and thought I was ready to go back to school because mm-hmm. we had to stop school because my parents would be called every week. Mm. She has slept in the um dispensary because we couldn't carry her i've um, i'm not able to move Mm -hmm. so they used to get a call every week Mm -hmm. until they just decided okay how about we rehabilitate your health Mm -hmm. and then you you can go back to school this 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 was high school yes high school okay yes high school okay uh 2013 i relapsed in january Mm. i just had pain Mm -hmm. that made me feel like i'm back to 2012 Mm -hmm. so i was in boarding the whole time Mm -hmm. So I had to now come to be in a day school. Mm. So when all these diagnoses are being made, they're mm. being made when I'm in Kenya. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So let's just say between 2012 and now, which is about 11 years, mm-hmm. I have about six or seven diagnoses. Ah, mm. Good. Let's take a break. When we come back, we talk about the disease that came up in 2013. Mm. Remember, if you have any questions, let me know on our WhatsApp number that is plus two five four seven five three nine zero three three seven three plus two five four seven five three nine zero three three seven three. 